Like, what hasn't this guy? This guy can just do it in his sleep, right? He just shows right. up, plays William Shatner, and he. So I said, you know, with all of these movies that are getting like the Snyder cut, all of these movies that are getting right. the like, director's cut, I said, if there's one movie I can think of that deserves a director's cut, I think Paramount should give you some money and a CGI budget to recut Star Trek V. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> now, Star Trek V is the worst Star Trek movie ever made. It's the only movie William Shatner ever directed. It is ever directed, correct. And with good, it's terrible. Lawrence Luckenbill plays Spock's brother, and he's amazing in it. But the film itself is really, really bad and really it's, uneven. And there, there was a strike at the time. There was a there's strike. Times, there are times, John, where that movie will come on, and I go, all right, I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to give yeah. it another shot. Oh, and it terrible. just, yeah. But there was a strike going on at the time, and they didn't have the special effects they thought they were going to have when he signed on for the movie. Mm. So Shatner so loves that I took his greatest piece of professional shame and reframed it in a way that allowed him to talk about how its badness wasn't his fault. Mm. Okay. And after that, he opened up about so much that he told a story about how Leonard Nimoy tried to have an intervention for his wife before she died, and People Magazine ran it. Like, if you can wow. find something for them to talk about, because the more famous the celebrity is, the more they've been asked every question, and they're bored, and they don't want to be there. But if you can find right. something to stimulate them, then they'll know you're not a Muppet. And then they'll open up uh, in ways that you never could have imagined. So that's probably the biggest thing I've learned about interviewing.